you may have seen the video where we looked at an English lesson from Japan from the 1990s. I think it's from the 90s. And it's, I have a bad case of diarrhea. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. It's funny and also surprisingly useful. Surprisingly useful. Now we can do the same thing with an English lesson from the same people about dating in English. So these people who have produced these English learning videos have decided that a good way to help people remember English phrases is to do dances. To have these three girls and their clothes indicate to me that they're it's the 90s. These three girls dance and say the phrases. This particular one is about dating phrases. If you were a guy asking a girl out in particular what you would say, but it would also work the other way in some in some cases, okay? So, what we're going to do is go through the video because it's not just one phrase. Before it was just one phrase. We looked at I have a bad case of diarrhea. If you haven't seen that one, you got to watch it. It's really funny. I find it to be hilarious. But at the same time, it is useful because it sticks in your head. You remember it, I have a bad case, and it is also surprisingly useful because I have a something of something is very common in spoken English. So, some of the things in this video I think are kind of common, but maybe a little outdated, maybe a little weird. We're going to talk about them one by one. We're going to kind of go through it together. That's what we're going to do. So let's take a look at the first part of this, I think, also very entertaining video. Do you have plans for tomorrow? 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 Do you have plans Okay, I think you will never forget that. You will never forget. <laughs> Do you have plans? Now, the question is, is that natural English? If there's a date situation, a guy wants to ask a girl out on a date, or maybe even a girl wants to ask a guy to go out. Well, Americans will typically say, what they want to do rather than do you have plans because the common answer when someone says do you have plans is well why <laughs> that can be a little bit awkward because I might say yes to some things and no to some things right if you want to schedule a meeting with me yeah maybe yes I, I can talk with you tomorrow or we can meet tomorrow so no I don't have plans it's a little bit awkward, right? But if you want to ask me on a date, and maybe I do have plans, right? So maybe I want to lie a little bit and avoid that awkward situation. So it is correct to say, do you have plans tomorrow? It is common. People do say it. But just be aware that when you do say it, the person listening to it will think, uh, I might, I don't know if I should say yes or no, right? I might say I have plans if I want to avoid whatever you might be suggesting. And I might say, no, I'm free if I want to probably accept whatever you're going to suggest. So my suggestion would be instead of saying, do you have plans tomorrow? I would suggest that you say, would you be interested in going to a movie tomorrow? Would you be interested in going to a movie tomorrow? Or do you want to go see a movie tomorrow? Right? I haven't dated anyone in a very long time, but if I remember correctly, it would be something like, hey, would you like to have dinner tomorrow? And that's a very common, very natural question. Now, the date part is implied. Dinner is a date. If I ask someone to have dinner in that kind of setting, then it suggests that it's a date, right? So most of the time in America, we use that. We say the thing rather than first saying, are you free tomorrow? Do you have plans tomorrow? Although I would like to be very clear that some people do say, are you free tomorrow? Do you have plans tomorrow? That is totally fine, not just for dating situations, for lots of situations. Okay, so that's how we handle the first part of that. Let's continue. 
We need to go to the next part of this lesson. Very useful stuff. Let's, let's go to the next part. Okay, here we go. Gonna have the guys now. Where's the guys? Good stuff, good stuff. I like it. All right, so again, will you go out with me tomorrow is correct. Some people will say it, but it is a bit direct. If we want to soften it a little bit, we might instead of saying will you, we might say would you like to. Would you like to go out tomorrow? Would you like to go out tomorrow? Would you like to go out tomorrow? But then the other person, let's say, okay, let's say, let's say there's a girl, there's a guy, I'm the guy, and I say, hey, would you like to go out tomorrow? Or I might say, would you like to go out and do something tomorrow? Or I might say, would you like to do something tomorrow? Then the question will be, maybe from her, well, it depends. What do you want to do? What would you like to do? What kind of plans do you have in mind? What do you have in mind is actually a very common question. What do you have in mind? Very common. So we, we could say it, we can say it, people say it, but to simplify it, we might just do what I said before. We might just say, hey, would you like to get dinner? Hey, would you like to go see a movie? It's better to just say the thing. Then the other person can make a decision immediately without saying, well, that depends, right? Because if, if I'm not sure, then I'll say, well, that depends. What do you have in mind, right? What do you have in mind? Then we have to talk about that. It can make the whole thing a little more awkward and a little bit more complicated, okay? Let's continue, let's continue. This is, uh, I'm enjoying this. I will pick you up at your place. I will pick you up at your place. At your I will pick you up at your brace. Gotta have the guys. Have the guys. Okay, so the guys didn't say it that time. I don't know why. This one, I think, is a bit strange. I will pick you up at your place. Well, then we have to talk about where my place is. But really, that's too direct and too straight, and it assumes a lot. It assumes that I will be the one driving you and getting you. It assumes that that's okay with you and you won't be anywhere else before we have a plan to meet to go on a date, right? So wouldn't it be better to say, as a suggestion, shall I, shall I pick you up at your place? So as a question, then the answer can be uh, yes or, oh, no, actually, I'm going to be downtown anyway. Why don't you meet me downtown? Oh, okay, sure, that sounds fine. Because if I ask it as a question, I can get that information. If I say, I will pick you up at your place, then if that's wrong, if you're already in Midtown and you want me to meet you there rather than pick you up at your place in my bus, I don't know what kind of vehicle I have in this strange hypothetical. Yes, I drive a, a bus. <laughs> it's getting creepier all the time. It's better to ask. And I think that's a common trend we're seeing here, right? We're seeing, instead of saying, are you free? We're seeing, would you like to do this? Giving people more information and asking them to give you feedback immediately or asking them if it's okay if you can pick them up or meet them somewhere or whatever it is, and then they can confirm that. We don't want to jump into an awkward situation where I've made an assumption, I've said it directly, and then you say, well, first of all, I don't even have a place, right? I live in a dormitory, a college dormitory. Oh, okay, where's that? And then there's an awkward conversation that follows. Ask the question, don't make a statement like that. That is something, generally speaking, you want to avoid, okay? Let's continue. Let's keep going. All right, 
You look sensational in that dress. What does sensational mean? Sensational means fantastic, amazing, great, right? That's what sensational means. So if someone says you look sensational in that dress, you look beautiful in that dress, you look so cute in those shoes, you look so handsome in that suit, you look so handsome in that shirt, you look so beautiful with that hairstyle, you look so cute with those glasses, you look so handsome with those glass. whatever it is, okay? It's okay to say that. In or with, in that dress, in that suit, with those glasses, with that hairstyle. Though it's fairly common. Now, to me, you look sensational in that dress sounds way too formal, right? And maybe that's just the way that modern interactions and dating happens. It's not that formal. Miss, you look sensational in that dress. It's so formal. So you could say you look nice, you look beautiful, you look lovely. Lovely is a little formal. A girl could say the opposite to a guy, not the opposite, could say the same thing to a guy, but instead of saying you look lovely to a guy, she might say you look, you look handsome, you look handsome, you look nice. Nice works for both. So I think you look nice is nice. That's good. And that's pretty relaxed. It's not too formal. It's not too awkward. So can you say you look sensational in that dress? Yeah, you can. But I recommend avoiding it because it's too formal. It's awkward. All right, here we go. Keep going. Where are Thai and Dan Are you serious about anyone? 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 Are the guys going to say it? Are the guys going to say it or not? Are you serious about anyone? I'm going to say it again. Okay. There's no consistency in this video. What is going on? No consistency. So, are you serious about anyone? What do they mean by that? Well, what the real meaning here is, is, do you currently have a serious boyfriend or a girlfriend? Now, we don't really say this any, anymore. If you say it, people will understand, but it's just not common anymore. Don't say, are you serious about anyone? If you're in a dating situation, it's better to say, just, are you seeing anyone now? Are you seeing anyone? Are you seeing anyone at the moment? So are you, you could say, with anyone now? Are you with anyone at the moment? We could also say, so are you dating anyone? Are you dating anyone? Are you dating anyone? Are you with anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Serious, not so common. I think it's a bit outdated. So maybe skip that one. Skip that one. But otherwise, I think it's okay. Otherwise, the question itself, as a thing to ask, is natural. This form of the question, yeah, not so much. Whatever you may say about how kind of silly and goofy these videos are, it stays in your head. So what about that one? I want us to be more than just friends. Actually, yeah. Yes. Yes, people will say this. But it's in a particular situation. Specific. What is the situation? Well, this is when maybe two people, a boy and a girl, are close. They have a relationship but not a dating relationship, and one person feels sort of romantic about the other person and wants to kind of confess it, right? More of a confession of, I'm in love with you, that sort of thing. Or I'm interested in pursuing a romantic relationship with you, whereas before we've been just buddies, just friends, colleagues, maybe, eh, maybe not colleagues, I guess you could get fired for that, right? But you have a what's called platonic relationship with the other gender, right? I have a platonic relationship with a female or female has a platonic relationship with a male. Usually that's how it works. I guess you could mix it up too. And then one person feels a very strong sort of romantic sense about the other person. They'll say, I don't know how you feel, but I would like to be very awkward. I would like to be 
like more than just friends uh you'd probably be very very shy and uncomfortable when you're saying that to someone right but that is what you'd say that's what you'd say and so it's common it's useful this is actually one that i don't have any any edits on it's fine it's fine what is the point of that All right. So, what about this one? What is going on here when someone says, here's to something? We say, here's to something when we want to make a toast. Often we have a, a glass, or in my case, a plastic water bottle and we do a toast here's here's to your here's to your success in your new job right here's to your success and we say that here's to da 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 to say what we're making a toast about or for right here's to the new year ah cheers toast okay here's to our new friendship here's to our new business relationship whatever it is okay no no one would say business relationship but you get the idea now, would someone say, here's to your lovely eyes? Again, I have to throw this in. I'm a little bit out of the dating scene. So maybe people do say that, but it certainly doesn't seem like something people would say. To make a toast to someone's eyes. Now, you could comment. You could say, oh, you have lovely eyes. You have beautiful eyes. I like your eyes. Sure, you can say those things. I don't know. Whatever you want to say, but keep it simple. If it's awkwardly formal here's to your lovely eyes here's to your glistening uh, oily skin or whatever whatever is attractive i don't even know i i don't know um i don't even come from this planet so i'm just trying to fit in avoid this one just avoid it i don't even have a revision for this one for the other ones i have revisions for this one i would say just don't say it completely avoid it if you want to compliment someone, just say that you like that thing about them, or you think it looks nice, or you think it's beautiful or handsome or whatever it is. Use the adjective. Keep it simple, okay? So what are the basic things that we can take away from this? Well, one is that repetition and maybe uh, uh, dancing makes things stick. But the other is that we should really always ask questions and get people to confirm information rather than assuming. And the type of question we ask, whether it's in a dating situation or not, we could also use this when we're just inviting a friend to do something, we should try to be as specific as possible with the first question. If the first question is, what are you doing tomorrow? Or are you free tomorrow? I recommend avoiding, are you free tomorrow? Do you have plans tomorrow? Because people's answers to that question will depend on the thing that you're going to suggest. So then again, they have to ask the awkward question, well, what do you have in mind? And that's what you would ask in that situation. That's what I always say. So avoid vague starting questions. Be specific. Always ask a question. Don't say, I will call you back in 10 minutes. I will pick you up at your house. Say instead, is it okay if I pick you up at your place at 7? And then the other person can confirm, right? Or, can I call you back in 20 minutes? Confirm. Get the answer, right? And also, I think in general, between people and also in dating situations, there's a move toward the less formal. So these very formal phrases that you've heard, whether it's girls to guys, guys to girls, or whatever, these formal phrases that you've heard, generally speaking, are pretty much outdated. Most of the ones that I know, they're outdated. People don't really say them. So we say things a lot more simply now, I think, generally speaking, if we want to be natural. Okay? So hopefully that's useful. If you want to watch more of these videos and, and have me comment on them, let me know. This is a whole series. We might be looking at more in the future. Let me know which ones you'd like to see or if you have other videos in mind that you'd like me to comment on that we can go through. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Of course, 
subscribe and check out my full English courses in the links in the description. Thank you.